Hi, this is that collage preparation video two. So, you open Animate, and then we have the slash screen. Um, don't choose HTML5, it's making websites, we're making animation. This will give you all the features we need, so Action Script 3. So now you begin importing all of your files in. Um, so import, import them to, at this stage, the library. So we're going to control it. Now, if you're not seeing or can't choose, say you want to open these JPEGs, note this option here, which lets you open different kinds of files. We want a PNG. So I'm going to go straight ahead and download that and look it's in the library if you don't have the library here um, it may be that it's not open so you can open it from this window now this is a bitmap and we're not going to make our file with the actual bitmap we're going to convert it into a symbol so the first thing we do and we've got to do this with every single image that we use on every single layer um, we're going to go insert new symbol and I'm going to copy the name so it's the same um, as there or, or it may be that you need to call it another name to fit it on a particular part of the body but we don't and I'd like to match it as close as I can to the original make sure it's graphic in the symbol type and go OK that'll open a new editing screen and see over here in the library we now have our PNG and a, a coffee symbol without anything in it yet we drag our coffee image into there second step very important we have to make sure that the image is selected and it's got this blue line around it and then we go modify break apart or control B next I'm going to need some tools Oh, the tools are at the top. Um, this isn't the configuration I'm used to, but we can adapt. So you see here, I'm going around the image and I'm going to cut off all the excess transparent information because it will get in the road when we're trying to select objects that are behind it or very close to it. This way, it's getting as close as we can, and I could get it a lot closer, but to give you an idea, okay, I've run around the whole edge. Now select the black arrow, select the outside, and delete. Yes. Then go into your scene. Now, I haven't got anything in my scene. It's probably going to be the same. And you do that process over and over with all the parts that you're going to use. So I'll go to a pre-prepared file where I've been um, busy. And this is eventually what we're going to try and end up with. With a layer for each of the parts that we're going to use. You can see here, these then um, can rotate and we can move each individual thing. Um, it's important to put the rotation points where we need them on the ends um, so they move properly. But let's go through that process in a bit more detail. I've got a thing here where I've started to add things layer by layer. So the next thing I might add here, and I'm just before I do that, but I'm looking at this and thinking it's going to be way too big anyway. Hold the shift key down, use the pre selection tool and shrink that down a little bit. Then I'm going to go and keep making new layers. Um, I'm going to call this one uh, leg right. So the right leg, it's from the character's perspective. So it's the leg that goes on this side. I go over here right and I've named it correctly and I drag it into that layer first thing I do is move the rotation point where I'm going to need it put it roughly where we want it 
hold the shift key down and shrink it down to there to the size that we want it. Now, to get the layers correctly lined, you just move them down here in the order that you want them in. So we'll put that behind the body. And I would continue that process one more time. Select a new layer, double click it, leg, left, and go and get, I've named them more or less how I want them. Oh, sorry, leg left. Move the rotation point first and hold the shift key down and shrink it down to size. A little bit of mouse control issue there. Great. And I would continue that process, gradually building up layer and layer and layer with an object on each layer until I got something like this, where I've put everything down. I've got all the rotation points in oops, where I want them. And we're really nearly ready to animate. Okay, so none of these you can see here, I can select quite close to them and nothing happens, which is good. Oops, that one's a bit close, but I just grabbed the edge of it. Okay, how to animate. Next thing we've got to do, uh, just check this. Actually, oh, there's a little problem here in that the right leg, I think, is... Uh, in a wrong layer, it's in the right hand layer, no trouble. If you do do this, and of course I've done this on purpose to demonstrate, you just select it and cut it from that layer, select the right layer, so this gets the right leg, and we can go paste in place from the menu here, all tickety-boo. Okay, next, very importantly, animation. Create a new layer and put it at the bottom. Double click it and call it Guide. Now we're going to draw a line across the bottom of our plane and put a vertical on it. Using the black arrow key, I double click it and then I do Command G or Group from the Modify menu. That's going to be our reference point. We will delete this once we finish the animation, but it's very useful in terms of being able to um, know where the ground is so you can have gravity, you can have weight, you can have rotations. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. Um, we lock that layer although we will be unlocking it and moving it throughout the tutorial. Next, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking, this needs to be a bit smaller. Grab the whole thing using this free transform tool, hold the shift key down and just shrink it down a little bit. Just a note on the size of the stage, I just accepted, accepted the default size but you might be working at 1920 by 1080 um, for whatever you do uh, you might need it to fit into a video modify document and change the proportions here I'm just going to leave it because it's just a demonstration and that's fine next I want to give us some frames to work with and actually I'm just looking at this also and I'm thinking I'm going to walk it over this way so I'm going to get everything and inch it back this way so I've got a bit more room in the direction I'm going to walk in so organizing my first frame great lock that guide layer again going to give this about 50 frames so I'm striking down holding the mouse button down and pulling down on frame 50 I put the mouse cursor over that frame right click or control click and go insert frame that just gives us some blank canvas to work on so to speak I'm going to then go 
and strike down and select the first frames, right click and go create classic tween. So in this demonstration and for that first class workshop we're going to be just using classic tweens. Then I go to frame, around frame 6, strike down, right click, insert keyframe. So these two keyframes at the moment have no change in value. But now with everything selected, or if you unselect it and reselect it, just to make sure you know how you can select it, using the free transform tool, we then put the mouse cursor over this central little white dot here and move that down to this leg here. That changes the rotation for this selection. It's only a temporary rotation point but it's very handy. And then I pull the whole thing over. Now I hold the shift key down and unselect just that leg. Doing that process again I move this temporary rotation point down to here. Wait till I get the little rotation thing on the cursor as I come close to that edge and rotate the body back around and a little bit more at that about that amount I think maybe I'll adapt it unselect and then select just that leg and I'm going to move that leg up like that and now as I'm moving down I'm going to therefore move the arms up a little bit and then also stretch them out so get this last two just those parts stretch it out and then maybe even give the microphone a little twist just do roughly on the other side and the head and we can see here that right now I'm going to make the impact so two frames on from that a strike down right click insert keyframe so now I'm just going to do the same process again but I wanted to do it in two stages to get kind of boom here now I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to select the two bottom, actually, sorry, select everything above the legs. Move this, this rotation point here and move the body forward on this. Now I'm going to move the arms down as if the impact. Actually, what I'll do is I think I'll just give it a little little thud like an impact thing um, I'm imagining that there's a like a, a shock wave that's traveled up the body and it's sort of this is the theory and then this the head's going to come down I think that's yeah it's a certain rate of change and then it suddenly increases as the body hits it great now I'm going to make the next step for this I'm going to unlock the guide layer select it and move it down to this front leg now it was the back leg before now it's the front leg and lock it again go to frame somewhere around here we can move these around later so it's not too hard. Right click and go insert keyframe. You'll notice that I put keyframes down the whole length. So they're all lined up. That actually makes it a lot easier later on. So I think that the best way to do this, it's going to look weird for a moment, is I'm going to get that leg and I'm going to imagine that leg's going all the way back across there. And then I'm going to unselect, hold the shift key down, unselect that leg, 
and do the same process as I did before. Uh, and then maybe just come down a little bit and back a little bit. They're quite robust, these um, tweens. They don't, they don't freak out. Um, so I'm actually moving the rotation points slightly differently each time. And that arm movement might be a bit too much. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So, so far I haven't got any swing. Uh, swing as in alternate swings that the both hands are moving up and down as I move. So this time I'm going to get the head and rock it back again. So it's going forward. And check that. And then I would probably do a similar shock absorption to that. Play with that. Try that with your own and see how well you can get it to move. But to recap, to do an, a next move on something, you strike down with the mouse, right click, insert keyframe, use the, with, with, it, with it all selected like that, you can change the rotation point for the group, bang, bring it down, and on you go. Now, I won't do the other little refinements on that, but that's just a recap. Good luck.